Hey guys, Skylar here. We're finally doing the room tour I've been promising. Uh, probably like three videos now. Um, I'm reshooting it because I just wasn't happy with the original. Um, the original, I didn't have my green hair. Now we do. Hopefully you watched the last video, which explains the green hair. Um, let's go ahead and do the actual tour. Um, let's start like right at the door. Um, I'm gonna try to keep this steady because I'm not using a tripod. I should probably get one that I can hold my camera on. Oh wait, I have one actually. Hold on, let me go grab that. Hey, there we go, look at that! Now I have it on a tripod so I can actually hold it. Perfect! And it lets me actually extend my arm out, even better. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna start here. So basically I just have just the regular old door hook I got from Amazon for like 20 bucks. Um, I have a lot of stuff I can hang, towels, hoodies, jackets. I actually have like command hooks everywhere too, because I have my bag over here. Um, so the bag I actually bring to work every day. Oops, and my lens. Yeah. But it's the bag I bring to work every day, so I do keep it by my door. I keep it hanging out because it keeps it off the floor. It keeps it, well, not from being a mess, basically. Um, and then to so rearrange my room, I got left with like, this spot over here. So I ended up just putting my storage item in there, which is filled with my bedding, which is like my throw pillows, my sheets, um, duvet covers, that kind of thing. And then I wanted to make it look a little decorative, I guess. So I just kind of got a throw blanket and then my pillow that I've had for like ever. It's just a giant pillow, um, as you can see. I'm gonna like put this down just so you can see it a little better, but basically, just a giant pillow, pro pillow, my Sensi. The fan, which you are probably hearing right now, which I need to have because it's really hot in my room. It's like 80 plus degrees right now. Um, I did take out my AC because it was getting really cold at night. And then, you know, today it's just like about to be in the 80s, so great. Uh, so I have that going in here so I don't die. Um, but yeah, so moving on. Also over here we have my computer set up. This is where I do all my editing. Um, this is just a 2012 iMac. I bought it used on eBay. I do want to upgrade in the future, just not right now, because I don't have enough needs that it cannot meet as is. Although I do have a Thunderbolt um, solid state drive attached to it for an easier boot drive and everything. And then I also have some storage attached to the back of it here, which I'll show you. Let's put this down for a second. Uh, where is it? Right here. This is my backup drive. I just got some command strips and just command strip it to the back of my computer. That's where my backup goes. So when my time machine is doing its backup, it just goes there. It's out of the way, out of sight. I don't touch it. I don't knock it around. It's perfect. It's also a solid state drive, so it's like super quick. I know it's a waste of money and about just using a hard drive, but I use that for my external stuff. So like all my projects and stuff stay on a regular external hard drive. Everything else stays on the solid state drives. Um, but also on here, so I'm just gonna like put you back down again. I got my 3DS over here. And then I do get a Sensi, which has a French toast set in it right now, which I love to death. Um, and then I got the usual, you know, keyboard, mouse. I do get my headphones. They are beats, do not kill me. I just really love the color. It's a royal purple. I also only paid like 80 bucks for them on a Black Friday, so, you know, not that great. But I bought this little like headphone stand that also has a cord wrap in the back. So that, I love how it's focusing on the gloss, so that I can just have it all neatly put away. And then when I need it, I take it off, because I use these for my editing. So that's what I wear when I edit my videos. And then down here, I just have my water, a water bottle, duster, filter, useless things. My camera bag is actually tucked way in the back over there. Um, oh, look! Hey, it's me! Look at that! Here's what I'm wearing today. Jeans and a t-shirt, it's great! But yeah, so I have this like mirror right here that I totally command stripped to the door. Um, I'll be honest, I swear by the command strip. But yeah, so let's go ahead and look at my bed. So... I did just do an unboxing for my bedding. I have the um, Lux line of bedding, duvet cover, pillowcases, sheets from Brooklyn. I love their site. I originally got their stuff back in 
December of 2016. I did a video thing in like January for it. But um, I love their sheets. They they're organic cotton. They're economic. They're um, environmentally like as environmental as you get with cotton because it's like destructive as hell. But I mean they're pretty well sourced. Um, so they're 100% cotton. They wear super well. And the best part is they do what cotton's supposed to do. They get softer with every wash. Um, I had the classic line, which is just the regular um, Percal. And then I got the Lux, which is their satin team. I want to try it out. I'm not really one for satin team normally, just because um, it doesn't hold up as well as Percal, but it's a lot cooler to sleep in satin team than Percal, because Percal's a thicker weave. Um, and where it's been kind of warm lately, it's just I want to go this way. And then let me just kind of put my stuff down so I can show you. But basically, I got four pillows up in here. The ones in the front cases, the white, and the stripes, I don't actually sleep on those ones. They're just there to have, to prop myself up with. Um, I actually sleep with these ones, which are shredded memory foam. And I got, I didn't buy those on purpose. They actually came for me, because I got a, um, new mattress in December from um, Brooklyn Bedding. Anyways, um, they sent shredded memory foam pillows for me as like a thank you for spending so much money with them. And at first I didn't want them because memory foam pillows are dense, they're heavy, and unless you sleep, you know, they sleep really warm, so you just it contains heat around your face, which is not that great. But these are so amazing. They're shredded memory foam, so, um, you know, you can fluff it like a pillow, like a down pillow. You can fluff it. You can move it around and it molds to you. It just, they hold up so well and they're so comfortable and they're so soft. Like they came with a super soft case on it. Um, even though then I put another pillowcase on top. I love them. They're amazing. They're great if you're a back sleeper, a side sleeper, or a stomach sleeper. They work always and I freaking love them. Um, I think you can still purchase them separately on Brooklyn Bedding's uh, website. If you can, I'll like, put a link down in the description below. I'll do the same for, um, a lot of the products in my video. Um, but yeah, and then let me just like turn over this way so you can see a bit more. But on my bed, I do have two throw pillows. Um, this one says Calm, and this one says Real Hacks. Still not really good with the finger thing. Um, I got those from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, they're from the Keith Coles collection. Uh, I, had, I had Keith Cole from my bedding before that, and I just got rid of it because it just didn't work with what I wanted. And that's when I tried for Brooklyn and out. Um, but I kept the pillows because I really like them, even though they don't really go with the color scheme. I still like them. And then just at the foot of the bed, I do sleep with this every night. It is a stuffed throw blanket from Cuddle Duds. I tend to get one every couple years um, because Kohl's is where I got it from. Of course, Kohl's loves discounting things, sales, clearance, all this and that. So this was 50% off, which in reality, what its full retail price is, isn't really worth it, in my opinion. Because uh, it's just um, uh, a turn it down feeling, but still great. But it's just a small blanket. It's a throw one. It's only a couple feet across, a couple feet long, but it's enough to cover me when I'm sleeping, and I like it. So I just have it on. I just fold it down when I'm not using it, and then I just pull up on it over me when I go to bed. I love it. It's wonderful. And then, of course, above my bed, which I know I'll get some hate for this one right here because it's cut off. I just didn't feel like moving them because I just. I don't want to waste the command strips, honestly. But basically, it is. I got these last year. They were in my room for last year. It's a Ghastly Haunter and Gengar watercolor print. I got them off of Etsy. I will see if I can find the link for them. I don't know if they're still available, but I can try to find the link for like the, um, you know, the Etsy seller if they're still around. You know, because who doesn't love that kind of thing? Well, new TV that I got. This wonderful 4K TV that I totally bought open box from Best Buy, and the one item missing from the box were the screws to the feet. So I literally had to buy new screws. And that was fun, because they're 4x16 machine screws. Yeah, it's not easy to find 4x16 machine screws. I had to order online in the end. Um, let me just like bring you up here. Oops. But basically, I bought this because I really wanted to try out a 4K TV, and I need a new TV. It's like, I don't see a point in spending, you know, maybe $100 less for a really nice 1080p TV if I could just get a nice 4K TV for $100 more. It just made more sense for me. And then, I'll put you down again. 
I do got my Nintendo Switch over here. Basically, I got my Switch over here, and for upscaling, it actually looks really, really good. I'm surprised. Um, this is an LG, it's the like 6300 series or whatever. I don't know if it's a 2017 or 2016, I didn't really check. But it upscales things really, really well. Um, Hulu, because I don't think there's really any 4K content in there, looks amazing on here. They do have the Apple TV from last year. And even upscaling content on there looks really good. And, and then, oh, I forgot to talk about this. I have my little nightstand here, which I actually redid myself. I think this, this should have been my video last year. But basically, this is an old stand that was in my basement. I just sanded it. I spray painted it this like um, gray color, and then I spray painted the knobs, the red, just the pop. And it's just like this really nice little stand. It's all, it's 100% wood, but it is rickety because it's old. But, um, and of course, I got my phone with one of the new Apple cases, which should have been the video. Hopefully, that you saw it before this. I got my Apple Watch charger. I got this off of Amazon. Um, it's just a regular charger. You can put nice stand mode with your watch. Um, then it has three USB ports to charge other devices, and then the best part is um, this also came with an attachment for the iPhone, so I can put a little dock in there and put my lightning cable and just have the phone standing up right on it. And of course, some lotion because my hands are dry as hell. But yeah, oh, and I forgot, I also have a rug now. Look at this, look at this, I have a rug. Like, I'm an adult, it's like an actual rug. It's not like the little, like, welcome mat rugs that I had last year, it's an actual full size area rug which goes underneath my bed. It's a bit crooked though, because I didn't put it the way I wanted to, but it works. And then under my bed, I just have like an underbed storage container, and then I also have um, my regular tripod under there, and then my lights and everything um, in their bags. So I would say when you're buying a bed, make sure it's tall enough for underbed storage, because you want to use every piece or every inch of space you have in a room. That's how I keep it neat like this. I have organization area everywhere. Like, I'll go into my closet. I don't really want to, but I'll show you what I mean. Like, even up here, I have um, two little baskets filled with stuff. My towel for my head, because my hair is wiping off and everything, and I don't want to ruin my new sheets, so I have that up there right now, but I mean, I got a shoe rack down here. You know, keep that organized, and then we go back over here. Again, I have this little organizer, which I actually got from Target. It's a pretty cool thing, it's just a hanging one. Um, the only thing I hate is that these um, drawers, drawer boxes, they actually were not included. I had to buy those separately. Altogether, I spent, I think, about $40 on this thing, because I'm pretty sure this was like, or no, maybe it's more like 30 because I think this was like 15 and these were about 11 for a pack of two, so I only have two of them. I could have got another one and just put the box up here. Oh, that don't have room because I have my spare pillows. And here's actually the pillowcases left over from last year. In the other Brooklyn bedding um, ones I actually have gray sheets. I originally got um, extra pillowcases for those because I didn't know if my queen pillows would fit in the standard pillowcases that Brooklyn, that, uh, Brooklyn sends with their queen sheets and everything. They actually do, lot of us, so I spent extra money for no reason. So I just keep the extra pillows in here. But you can feel the difference, because these are unwashed. I have not washed these pillowcases. I should have, I know. Um, they've just been sitting up there as extra. But when I go from there over to here, it's like you can feel the difference, you know. Those don't have much of a luster to them, but they're still really soft. But these feel really soft as well. So, I mean, it's really good quality bedding that just wears well. Like, they don't really shrink. It doesn't tear or anything. Like, I, I expect them to last for a couple years for me, so. I don't think they last forever. That's like linen territory, which Brooklyn actually does sell linen now. <laughs> Although I don't like the color, so I'm not gonna order it, but yeah. So I'm going to let you guys go because this video is so long. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. I will put links in the description below for different products in the room that I could find. Um, otherwise, uh, catch you later. Bye.